the unthinkable threat facing the reality of nuclear weapons. The world has lived under the shadow of nuclear weapons for decades. The mere existence of these weapons has shaped international relations and global politics in profound ways. While the threat of a nuclear attack might seem distant, it's crucial to understand the potential consequences and be prepared. The possibility, however remote, demands our attention and readiness. History has shown us the devastating impact of these weapons serving as a stark reminder of their destructive power. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki are etched into our collective memory as a testament to the horror of nuclear warfare. The use of nuclear weapons would have catastrophic consequences causing widespread destruction and loss of life. The environmental impact would be severe, with long-lasting radiation affecting both the land and the people. The initial blast, heat, and radiation would be immediately devastating to anyone caught in the open. Buildings would be flattened and fires would rage uncontrollably, adding to the chaos and destruction. Understanding the potential consequences of a nuclear detonation is the first step in preparing for such an event. Awareness and education can help mitigate the impact and save lives. While the thought of a nuclear attack is frightening, having a plan and knowing what to do can significantly increase your chances of survival. Simple steps like knowing where to find shelter and having an emergency kit can make a huge difference. It's essential to educate yourself about the effects of nuclear weapons and the necessary survival strategies. This knowledge can empower you to act swiftly and effectively in the face of danger. Knowledge is power, and in a situation like this, it could mean the difference between life and death. Educating yourself and your loved ones about nuclear survival can provide a sense of control and preparedness in an otherwise terrifying scenario. The flash, the bang, the shock, immediate actions for survival. These are the critical moments that can determine your fate. In the event of a nuclear explosion, the first few moments are critical. Your response in these seconds can make all the difference. Your immediate actions can significantly impact your chances of survival. Quick thinking and swift action are essential. The first sign of a detonation will likely be a blinding flash of light. This flash can be seen miles away and is your first warning. Immediately upon seeing the flash, drop to the ground, covering your head and neck with your hands. This position minimizes exposure to the blast. This will help protect you from the immediate effects of the blast and thermal radiation. The heat can cause severe burns, so shielding is crucial. If possible, try to seek cover behind something solid, like a concrete wall or a parked car. These barriers can provide additional protection. The more shielding you have between you and the blast, the better. Every layer of protection can reduce the impact of the explosion. Hold on tight and stay down for at least a minute after the shockwave passes. This ensures you avoid secondary dangers. There may be debris flying through the air and the ground could still be unstable. Staying down helps you avoid injury from falling objects and unstable surfaces. Seeking refuge, the importance of shelter in a nuclear event. After the initial blast, your next priority should be finding shelter. A proper shelter can provide protection from radiation fallout, which is a significant threat in the aftermath of a nuclear explosion. The ideal shelter is an underground space, such as a basement or a designated fallout shelter. These locations offer the best protection from radiation. If an underground shelter is not available, choose the innermost room of a building, preferably on a lower floor. The more walls and floors between you and the outside, the better. Reinforce your shelter by sealing windows and doors with duct tape and plastic sheeting to prevent radioactive dust from entering. The Silent Killer Understanding and Avoiding Radioactive Fallout Radioactive fallout is a significant danger after a nuclear explosion. It consists of dust and debris contaminated with radioactive material that settles back to the ground. Fallout can travel hundreds of miles from the blast site carried by wind currents. It's crucial to understand the risks associated with fallout exposure. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause radiation sickness, which can lead to various health problems including nausea, vomiting, hair loss, and even death. Staying in your shelter for as long as possible is crucial to minimize exposure to fallout. The longer you stay sheltered, the more time radioactive particles have to decay and become less harmful. Section 5. Sheltering for Survival. Short-term strategies for staying safe. While sheltering, it's essential to follow some critical guidelines to maximize your safety and well-being. Staying calm and following these strategies will increase your chances of survival. 
keep a battery-powered radio tuned to emergency broadcasts for updates and instructions from authorities. Information is vital in a disaster situation. Conserve your resources, especially food and water. Ration your supplies carefully to make them last as long as possible. Avoid contact with any water sources that may be contaminated with fallout. Rainwater and open bodies of water could be hazardous. Section 6. When the dust settles. Emerging from shelter and assessing the situation. After a recommended period of sheltering, typically two weeks or as advised by authorities, you can cautiously emerge from your shelter. However, it's crucial to assess the situation before venturing outside. Listen for official announcements and instructions from authorities before leaving your shelter. They will provide guidance on the safety of the surrounding area. When leaving your shelter, wear protective clothing including long sleeves, pants, gloves, and a mask or cloth covering your mouth and nose. Avoid disturbing any dust or debris as it may be contaminated with radiation. Move cautiously and deliberately, avoiding areas with visible dust. Section 7. The Essentials of Life. Finding safe food and water after a nuclear blast. Securing safe food and water is paramount for survival in a post-nuclear environment. The aftermath of a nuclear blast can leave many resources contaminated and unsafe for consumption. Knowing where to find uncontaminated sources is essential. This knowledge can mean the difference between life and death. Look for food and water that has been protected from fallout. Canned goods, bottled water and food stored in sealed containers are generally safe. These items are less likely to have been exposed to radioactive particles. Avoid eating food from open containers or food that has been exposed to the elements. Such food could be highly contaminated and dangerous. Contamination is a serious risk in the aftermath of a nuclear event. Radioactive particles can settle on surfaces and infiltrate food and water supplies. If you must collect water from outside sources, exercise extreme caution. Try to find a spring or well. These sources are often safer than rivers or lakes, which can be more easily contaminated. Boil the water vigorously for at least one minute to kill any harmful bacteria or viruses. This step is crucial to ensure the water is safe to drink. Additionally, consider using makeshift filters to remove larger particles before boiling. This can further reduce the risk of contamination. Section 8. The Fight Against Contamination, Decontamination Procedures for Safety. Decontamination is crucial to remove radioactive particles from your body and belongings. Following proper procedures can significantly reduce the risk of radiation exposure. If you've been exposed to fallout, remove your outer layer of clothing carefully, as it may be contaminated. Place it in a sealed bag or container. Wash your body thoroughly with soap and water, paying particular attention to exposed skin and hair. Avoid using conditioners, as they can bind radioactive particles to your hair. If you have access to a radiation detection device, use it to check yourself and your belongings for contamination levels. Follow any recommended decontamination procedures. Section 9. Radiation's Toll. Recognizing and Treating Radiation Sickness. Radiation sickness is a serious concern after a nuclear explosion. It's crucial to recognize the symptoms and seek medical attention if necessary. Common symptoms of radiation sickness include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, headache, and skin redness or burns. The severity of symptoms depends on the level of radiation exposure. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Treatment options are available and can significantly improve your chances of recovery. In the absence of medical professionals, basic first aid measures can help alleviate symptoms. Rest, hydration, and pain relief medications can provide some comfort. Section 10. The Long Road Ahead. Adapting to Life in a Post-Nuclear World. Surviving the initial aftermath of a nuclear explosion is just the beginning. The long-term challenges of adapting to a post-nuclear world are significant. The environment will be altered and resources will be scarce. Communities will need to rebuild and life as we know it will be forever changed. Cooperation and community support will be essential for survival. Sharing resources, knowledge and skills will be crucial for rebuilding. The psychological impact of a nuclear event should not be underestimated. Seeking support from others and finding ways to cope with trauma will be essential. Section 11. Preparedness is key equipping yourself for the unthinkable. While we hope for a world free from nuclear threats, it's essential to be prepared for any eventuality. Taking steps to prepare for a nuclear event can offer peace of mind and potentially save lives. 
Create a family emergency plan that includes designated meeting points, communication strategies, and evacuation routes. Practice your plan regularly. Assemble a survival kit containing essential supplies such as food, water, a first aid kit, a battery-powered radio, a flashlight, and extra batteries. Stay informed about potential threats and emergency procedures in your area. Knowledge is power, and in a disaster situation, it can be life-saving.